Rob, the University of Canterbury has today signed a big deal with Hawkins Construction regarding CETF, engineering the future for Canterbury. Is this the biggest redevelopment on campus for the last 40 years? Yep, it certainly is. Uh, prior to the uh, contract we've signed today, the largest single recent building was the new postgraduate biological sciences building. That was a $50 million project. Uh, it's done, it's completed, it's been remediated since the earthquake, it's a great building. But today, we've signed a contract which is part of a $145 million program to completely remediate or rebuild all of the engineering laboratories and major staff and student facilities in the engineering precinct of Canterbury University. It's a big day. Rod, how does the New Zealand community benefit from this project? Well, Kev, this project is to create new laboratories for civil engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering and chemical and process engineering, as well as a new hub for students studying in those disciplines and other engineering disciplines that the University of Canterbury has to offer. When our students learn alongside academic staff, they acquire knowledge which when they graduate, they transfer to industry directly. But when our staff do research, they too publish the outcome of that leading research. In addition, we work directly with industry partners. So not only do our students and staff benefit from this substantial investment, but in addition, Christchurch, Canterbury and New Zealand will all benefit from a substantial improvement in the facilities to support these core disciplines. So this is a big step forward for the university in the 21st century. It is, it will give us some of the most fit for purpose and modernised engineering, teaching and research facilities in Australasia.